The biggest stumbling block when it comes to clean crisp shifting are old, worn out and dirty cables. Friction in the system somewhere between the shifters up here and the front or rear mech will cause slow or mistimed shifts or at worst actually render your gears completely useless. Sometimes old cables can become frayed and worn as you can see here on our filthy old felt but luckily it's not a difficult job to replace them yourself as I'm about to prove to you now. Now you don't need too many tools for the job, in fact in general all you'll need is an allen key, generally a 5mm one but it is important that you have a good quality set of cable cutters. Simply using some pliers which you found around the house simply won't cut it, so to speak. And if you want to do a very professional job you're also going to need a file like this and a little pick like this. I'll we'll explain why just a little bit later on. Now, before we get on with it, we need to decide whether we need to replace just the inner cable or all the outers as well. In general, it'd be best to replace both. And the only reason that you just do the inner cable is if it's become frayed either here at the rear mech and front mech or up here towards the shifters, but it's still shifting fine. Otherwise, in all scenarios, we'll replace the outer ones as well. And that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do now. We'll start by removing the old cable. Shift into the smallest ring either at the front or back and take all of the tension out of the system. We're going to show you first the rear derailleur. There is a bolt which clamps the cable in. Loosen it to free the end of the cable and then cut the end cap off here to allow the cable to go back through the outers. To access the outer cables you may need to undo the bar tape. Some older or even current Shimano models though may have the cables coming out to the inside of the shifter so don't start taking your bar tape off if that's the case. For those of us that do have to take the tape off, we'll also need to roll back the rubber on the brake hood to expose where the cable enters the levers. Make a note of how and where the cables are taped onto the bars, then remove that tape too. Now you can pull the inner cable out and away from the rear mech, then remove that part of the outer cable completely and put it safely to one side. We'll use it later to measure our new cable. Also, as you're going along, make a note as to whether or not there are ferrules at either end of your outer cables. Next, pull the front part of outer cable away from the cable stop or barrel adjuster on the frame. And then pull that outer cable away completely, putting it to one side with the other bit. Next, push the inner cable through the gear lever, making note as to exactly where it's coming out. This is where it's important that you've shifted to your smallest cog, otherwise the end of the cable won't be exposed in the shifter. Now is a good time to cut your new outer cables down to the right size. This is the point where those extra tools will come in handy. Use the file to get rid of any sharp edges and use your pick to make sure that the inner cable will thread nicely through. Now put any of the ferrules on that are needed for your bike as they were on your previous cables. Take your new inner cable and thread it through the shifter, pulling it snugly into place. Thread the first longer piece of outer cable on and lodge it into the correct place of the shifter. Then thread the inner cable through the barrel adjuster on the frame if there is one or simply put the outer cable into the cable stop. Now you'll need to thread the inner cable through the cable guide underneath your bottom bracket and then to the last piece of the new outer cable. Lodge the forward end of the cable into the frame stop then put the inner cable back through the barrel adjuster of the mech. Make sure that the barrel adjuster is screwed most but not quite all of the way in then pull your cable tight through the crimping area. Right here's a little tip which I use. Manually push the mech up whilst turning the pedals so that it changes a couple of cogs up on the cassette. The mech won't be able to spring all of the way back down whilst you pull the cable tight and do up the bolt. Then when you've done that you can turn the pedals again, that last piece of mech movement will take up any slack in the system. Right, now click the shifter up one gear and then unscrew the rear mech barrel adjuster until the chain pops up onto the next cog. If you have to unscrew it too much though, you might need to undo the cable and pull it through slightly more. At this point the gears should be pretty much indexed, but for a full video on how to adjust your gears, see the link in the description below this video. Now you can take the outer cables to the bar, and then either replace or rewrap your current bar tape. Finally, once you've double checked that everything is working smoothly, you can cut the excess inner cable of your cable cutters, then crimp the cable end cap on. The process is almost exactly the same for front mech cables. For more maintenance videos, make sure you subscribe to GCN.